What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Ignorant Money Club. So today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite blockchain company. You guessed it, T0. But before we jump into things, please remember to smash up that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell so that every time we drop the latest and greatest, you are the first to receive it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into things. So as you all know, T0 Markets has been approved. We are currently sitting at 42 states and territories that have been approved to operate and have received their license. So guess what, guys? I think it's coming real soon. I think by the end of October, we should see the T0 Markets platform at least launch um, from the web-based interface. Fingers crossed and I'm hoping it happens. All right, so the next thing, um, for anyone who's familiar with me talking about Aspen or Aspen Digital, um, Aspen Digital is a third-party token or the first third-party token on a T0 platform. Um, they're essentially a, a resort the, if you ever heard of the St. Regis Aspen Resort, um, they pretty much are up in like Colorado and it's supposed to be this like nice place where you can go ski and all kind of other stuff. But uh, what I think is huge about them, they kind of have like that first mover advantage because not only are they the first third party token, um, they may be even like the first resort to tokenize portion of their assets in this space and in addition to that they're showing their appreciation to token holders and shareholders are all equity holders by giving a stake based on or a cashback rebate based on the number of aspen digital tokens um that one holds or the number of uh shares that one holds so i'll just read it to you real quick um and this was launched around september 16 aspen digital inc today announced that it intends to launch an owner benefit program Extend it to all equity owners of the St. Regis Aspen Resort, including those who hold their ownership through Aspen Digital Tokens. Yay, yay. All right, so under this new program, all equity owners of St. Regis Aspen Resort are eligible to receive from Aspen Digital a cash rebate on their stay at the St. Regis Aspen Resort based on their size and ownership interest in the hotel so the more you own the more you support them the more they support you and that, that's what makes sense you don't hear Marriott and you know all these other companies talking about things like this um, trying to give back yeah they have their little rewards programs but you're going to spend with them before you even reap any benefits so for holders of Aspen Digital Tokens owned for at least 30 days, the cash rebates are as follows. Number of Aspen Digital Tokens per cash rebate. If you own 10,000 to roughly 100,000, you get a 20% rebate. If you own 100,000 to roughly 500,000, you get a 35% rebate. And if you owe 500,000 and more, you get pretty much half off your stay at the hotel. So that is some great news. And that is something to be excited about, to be looking forward to. I'll publish this document or a link to this documentation below. You can find it on Twitter um, at Stefan, however you pronounce his name. You can find it on Twitter at his, uh, he's the president of Elevator Returns, which pretty much owns like the resort. Um, so you can get that link there as well. All right, so moving on to the meat of what I wanted to discuss. Shout out to Dave Hendricks, CEO of Bertalo. He kind of gave me his blessing to, um, you know, reference his video, his interview with Psalm that was conducted on October 2nd. I really appreciate that because, um, you know, I haven't had the courage to reach out to Psalm yet, but, you know, having guys like you reach out, um, that's that's great. 
but people always need to hear it from, you know, different channels and things like that, because, you know, I bring a different type of, um, you know, subscribers than he may bring. So it's always good to kind of reference each other and spread the news in either way, because at the end of the day, it's all going to support us all. So um, Ritalo, uh or the company, they've did a interview with some and during the interview um they talked and hit on some main points so for anyone who is new to t0 or doesn't know much about what t0 is about um t0 is about democratizing private securities and what this mean is they want to open up access to private securities for retail investors like you and i and why is this so important? Um, it's important because most of the value creation happens in a company's life cycle. And that means that most of the value happens before a company even becomes public. So he gave the example or song gave the example of companies such as Uber. He said by the time they get there to their IPO and go public, most of the value creation has already happened. Not saying that value doesn't still um, come out of the IPO and after the IPO and moving forward, he just says that that is where a lot of the value happens before um, it becomes public. So he wants to create a platform or that gives retail investors this opportunity. Um, and, and really, I think that makes perfect sense because even like with Airbnb and Robinhood and all these other um, platforms that are going public soon, it's like, okay like by the time we get into it it's almost too late we'll have to hold it for like 10 plus years to even reap any serious benefits from it um because it's it's like think about snapchat snapchat like is almost struggling but i know the people who probably were in snapchat invested in it way before us they have made their money and then some but um that's just what is super important to me and that's why i put a lot of backing or i you know invest a lot in the t0 because i like what they're trying to do they're trying to you know be a disruptor to the space because it's getting to a point where it's like all right everyone's not an accredited investor everyone doesn't have like venture capitalist money to just go get into these things early on but don't let me nag um so all right the next thing they talked about was approval of um by femra and sec to go live as a retail broker so we already talked about that uh t zero markets will be launching soon and then they also talked about the launch of the aspen security token which we referenced as well and this will be huge i think it was going to be super huge just give it a matter of time um being one of the first resorts to you know become tokenized or tokenized part of their assets all right so he also may mention that there are two additional broker dealers that have already subscribed to t0 he said that one of them is a larger public um, broker dealer that he couldn't mention i think it's fidelity let me tell you why i think it's fidelity because fidelity trades ostko on its platform right now and I, I, that's that's like one of the main reasons why i think it's fidelity and usually like even with webull and um robin hood like you can't sell it or buy it on robin hood but i think you can sell it on webull but you can buy and sell on fidelity so that's why i think it's them don't don't quote me but if it is then hey i was right and then they said they have another medium size uh bd our broker dealer that has already subscribed more broker dealers to come soon um so the next topic that they talked about was um just in regards to why like private companies will choose t0 and why t0 is attractive to those companies and they were just saying or some mainly said companies don't want the expenses and the overhead that comes with going public but at the same time um liquidity is needed and so with that um it gives the option for price discovery to exist when you 
go through an option such as T0, where you can, you know, still pretty much remain private, but reap the benefits of like a public company. All right. So moving on throughout the interview, um, they talked about the fact that Sam kind of wanted to be like a decentralized exchange or he wanted to build like a decentralized exchange for T0. But as he gained more knowledge regarding the security laws in the US, um, he realized that that wouldn't fly with the SEC. And, you know, these things will eventually happen, but it's going to take a lot more time. So the best way to kind of play this thing was just, you know, abiding by the laws of building the pretty much the platform within regulation. And that's what T0 has done. They have been great at doing that thus far. All right. So they talked about uh, how T0 um, supports the Tezos and the Ethereum blockchains. And mainly, of course, Ethereum, because they are like, you know, first adopter. They're doing the most in the space as far as like, um, blockchain um platforms and but when it comes to tezos tezos was very uh issuance driven so basically a lot of people that they work with were requesting tezos as a black a blockchain platform to be able to um build or run their um you know tokens on and things like that so that's something to keep in mind you know tezos is kind of still low key it's it's, it's kind of in the shadow of ethereum but just pay attention to that all right so moving on um this is one thing that got me super excited uh he asked a question about uh the staking uh, staking and will you know tokens be able to stake in t0 and i thought this was very interesting that uh Sam actually answered the question and he said they were looking or currently researching a staking feature for the tzrop um, token, which everyone knows that's like my favorite, favorite token right now. And some said verbatim, he said, where uh, you get larger dividends based on whether you stake or not. So, hey, the more the merrier. And I hope that this is something that gets implemented because this will definitely support me being a long term, long, long term holder. Um, He's saying other issuers have been asking about staking and it's something that's being explored. So that's good that they have it on their mind set right now. And then lastly, um, as I get ready to close out or as they got ready to close out the interview, they talked about like when will T0 markets be launched? Um, so Sam, you know, was very transparent. He said that T0 markets will launch in about a month or two and they will launch the web based um interface the mobile applications will come a little bit later especially with the crypto portion and overall they just want to create um one experience to trade all digital assets um in the future so that was pretty much the sum of the interview that was had with dave and some once again dave big shout outs to you vertalo everything that you all are doing and i appreciate you for allowing me to uh reference the interview um so anyways those are the things that are going on with T-Zero right now. I hope you all learned something from this video and I hope you all um, always learn something from the videos that I put out. Anyways, if you think this was good and you appreciated it, please remember to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and tap that notification bell. So the next time I drop the video, I'll be dropping a video soon on Aspen Digital. Um, you will receive that first. Anyways, thanks guys, and you all have a blessed day.